This is the story of the shoemaker and the elves. The nice old shoemaker worked all day making a pair of shoes. He'd cut the leather, sew it together, and make them two by twos. He'd nail on the sole and nail on the heel with hammer and with nail. With a rap tap tap, rap tap tap. And the shoes were ready for sale, ale, ale, and the shoes were ready for sale. But the nice old shoemaker grew poorer and poorer until one day there was no food in the house and he had only enough leather to make one pair of shoes. So he cut the leather, ready to make the shoes in the morning, and before he went to bed, he said his prayers. Lord, help us to be good. Lord, help us to be good. Help us to love each other, then we will help each other. Lord, help us to be good. Early the next morning, the shoemaker woke up, and there were the shoes already made. He sold the shoes for enough money to buy leather for two pair of shoes. So he cut the leather ready to make the shoes in the morning, and before he went to bed, he said his prayers. Early the next morning, the shoemaker woke up, and there were the shoes already made. He sold the shoes for enough money to buy leather for eight pairs of shoes. This went on until the nice old shoemaker and his wife became rich. Still, they didn't know who came in the middle of the night and made the shoes. One day, his wife said, Tonight, let's watch and see who makes the shoes for us. So that night, the old shoemaker cut the leather, put it on the bench. Then the old shoemaker and his wife watched and they waited. And on the stroke of midnight, look. Here came five little elves. They hopped on the shoemaker's bench. They took out their needles and their tiny little hammers and they began to make the shoes. We are five little elves named Eofen, 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 Olfen, Ulfen. We make the shoes ourselves. I mean Eofen, 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 Olfen, Ulfen. We hammer, 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 stitch and stitch. We hop and wiggle and laugh and giggle and work all night till broad daylight. We are five little elves named Eelfen, 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 Olfen, Olfen. When the shoes were all done, the five little elves hopped off the bench, hopped out the door, and away they went over the hill. <laughs> The good shoemaker's wife said, How kind the little elves are to make the shoes for us. Now what can we do for them? The good shoemaker said, I'll make them new shoes. His wife said, I'll make little trousers for them and little pink caps and little blue coats with little brass buttons. And they did. The nice old shoemaker worked all day making the little shoes. He cut the leather, sew it together, making the little shoes. Then he nailed on the soles and he nailed on the heels. He was having fun with a rap tap tap, rap tap tap, and the ten little shoes were done. The good shoemaker's wife started to work. She made little trousers red as red out of a piece of an old bedspread. My, she said, but they are nice and red. She made little caps as pink as pink, shine so bright that they make you blink. My, I think that nothing is pink as pink. She made little coats as blue as blue, bright brass buttons two by two. My, but I like new blue coats, don't you? When they were all done, the shoemaker's wife took the little trousers and caps and coats and laid them on the shoemaker's bench. The shoemaker put the ten little shoes beside them. I forgot to tell you it was Christmas Eve. So they wrote five little notes that said, Merry Christmas, little elf, and put the notes with the presents. Snow was falling in big, soft, fluffy flakes. The bells were ringing and all the children were safe in their beds. 
dreaming of toys and Santa Claus. Then the clock struck the hour of midnight. Look! In came the five little elves. They saw the red trousers, the pink caps, the little blue coats, and the little black shoes. They just stood there with their little mouths open and looked and looked. And then they started to laugh. They started to sing and jump up and down and slap each other on the back and say, look at our Christmas presents. They must be from the good shoemaker and his wife. They put the little red trousers on, left leg first, then the right. They put the little black shoes on, left shoe first, then the right. They put the little blue coats on, not too big, not too tight. They put the little pink caps on, they were a wonderful sight. And the five little elves hopped down off the shoemaker's bench, hopped out the door, and away they went over the hill laughing and singing, Merry, Merry Christmas to the good shoemaker and the good shoemaker's wife. Merry, Merry Christmas, fathers and mothers and all the girls and boys. 